Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today's just gonna be a chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna use some Dollar Tree makeup that I haven't really touched in a while. So I'm just gonna kinda update you um, on things that have happened since my last chatty get ready with me. Um, so yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of Dollar Store and Dollar Tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that's your thing, you're definitely in the right place. And of course, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming on back. So yeah, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So of course, I'm gonna start with eyebrows and I'm gonna be using my Ioni brow pencil. And there's one in medium brown and dark brown. And it's not labeled on the pencil. I think this is the darker brown. Not 100% sure, but I have gone darker recently with my hair. And so I'm gravitating towards my darker eyebrow products now. So I think where I left off in my last Chetty Get Ready With Me, I had, it was the beginning of the year, I think I had just come back from Florida, going to Universal Studios, and of course my Vegas trips, they were business trips, but of course we squeezed some fun in there, me and all the people that I work with that went. And I think when I talked to y'all last, I was, I don't know if I knew for sure if I was going to Mexico. Actually, no, I have not talked to y'all since before my Selena show. I knew about that I was gonna do, okay, if you are new to my channel, I am a performer and um, I put together like a Selena, Selena Quintanilla, not Selena Gomez, like tribute show. And I think, yeah, I think when I, we chatted last time, I was just getting ready to perform it and do a one woman show for like the first time in my life. Of course, I've been a magician's assistant and I've been like an ensemble performer, mainly a singer, but I've done a lot of other like various things as well. Picked up some dancing here and there and all that kind of thing. Anyways, long story short, my husband wrote a show for me and I made costumes and I'm, I guess you could say I'm kind of a Selena Quintanilla tribute artist-ish, you know? I know I don't look a whole lot like her, Wigs and makeup and costumes help, but you know, I'm not a look-alike, but I try to give an overall feel with music and singing and mannerisms, you know, dance moves, all that kind of thing. Anyways, I digress. So yeah, I think the last time we talked, I was getting ready to do that show. So we did it, it was a really, it was a big success. Of course, I had a lot of support from friends and that kind of thing and acquaintances, uh, but we did get a lot of people from like off the street to come, which is really hard, you know. There's a lot of marketing that's involved in that. And we spent two weeks just really trying to get the word out and it really worked. And I, I would deem it a success. Um, now the show that we have was actually designed for more of like a cruise ship or resort audience. Basically something where people wouldn't be buying tickets off the street. It would just be something that would be there wherever you're at, you know, uh, kind of a thing. So the show is a little on the short side to kind of sell tickets. So we just, you know, we sold inexpensive tickets and uh, tried to lengthen it by, I just added like a couple like encore songs and that kind of thing. But it's actually really designed to do it like resorts and on cruise ships and that kind of thing. I can kind of put some pictures up of me dressed. Oh, I'm cleaning up my eyebrows. This is something I found at the Dollar Tree. Everything is from the Dollar Tree. This is the e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer in Light. It just comes in like a little uh, container like this. It's really a very good concealer. We're going to also be using this to conceal as well. I'm actually gonna put some on my eyelids as well. So the show was a success, and a week later, kind of spare the moment, I knew we were gonna be going to Mexico at some point with the owners of our the theater and also some other friends and people that we work with. Um, we tried to go in January, we couldn't quite get it worked out. And the idea was we were gonna to try to get me like an audition to do my show at um, this, you know, this particular resort in Mexico, but we couldn't quite get it. So, so we just decided to go anyway. So let's see, that was a week later. So that, this was now second week of February, I believe. Can't believe it's already March. Now I'm going to be going in with some eyeshadow and I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to use this little, I'm going to use this little uh, LA Colors Duo. It's called Better Half. It's like a brown and then like a shimmer that's kind of very reminiscent of like NARS Orgasm. It's like a pink with like a gold kind of like sheen to it. It's really pretty. Like I said, I'm just gonna use these and make it really, really simple. I also have a liquid eyeshadow we'll use for like an inner corner highlight later. So yeah, so a week later we go to Mexico and we're gonna be spending like five, five days at a resort in Cancun. And the owners of my theater, they're like members of the resort. They go often and that kind of thing. So they get to like know the people at the various resorts because they do spend, you know, they not a lot of time, but they go, they go fairly frequently, you know, more than the average person, I would say. 
So I went prepared with like a costume and some music to do like a snippet, you know, of my, my act, I guess you could say. Now when you're there five days, you know, you get there that first day, and that's like day one, and then the day you check out is like your fifth day, so really you're there for like three full days. So we got there kind of late on that first day. And we got there like in time to have dinner. And that was about it. So then we had like three full days. We had a really great first day, a really great, actually the second day, um, the owner, my friend, our friends and the, the, the people that own the theater I work at were able to arrange an audition for me. So I kind of, they have like a theater at the resort and so they arranged where I could like open for the show that was going to be there that night so I did like 10 minutes um you know as Selena I did a couple songs and all that kind of thing I'm going to go in now with the shimmer shade of course I'm going to use like a flat brush and I'm going to dampen it all that good stuff I'm going to use this wet and wild natural finish setting spray so I did it it went really really well this was actually on Valentine's Day and we had a really fancy dinner that night and it was fun and you know it was really good it went you know I did well, you know. Um, I don't know how impressed the resort was or if it will turn into anything, but you know, we did it, mission accomplished. We did what we set out to do and we had fun. Well, I was feeling a little woozy on the stage, but I thought it was just, you know, you're an all-inclusive all resort and you've, you know, spent days drinking and all that stuff. I just thought, uh, you know, I, I, I had overdone it a little bit the night before. So I was just thinking it was just still sticking with me later that evening. Oh no, honey. I woke up at two, I went to bed at, I don't even remember, about midnight. I woke up two hours later and I proceeded to get sick every couple hours. It was horrible. I have not been that sick, you guys, since I was a child. Like, I don't generally, you know, not to sound gross, I just don't generally throw up very often. I was sick as a dog the whole last day. Low grade fever, getting sick, just like I was so sick that like, I couldn't even sleep. So like I, I was not getting any rest. I just like, oh, I was, it was miserable. And, you know, and every hour that went by, I was just hoping like, okay, maybe I'll feel a little good enough to have lunch. Maybe I'll feel good enough to spend the afternoon by the pool, like playing cards. Maybe I'll feel good enough to go to dinner. Never felt good enough to do anything. And, and I, now, granted, we were going home the next day. And, you know, it's not like the Motel 6 where you can just, like, stay another night or go down the street, go to another hotel. No, we had to leave. Like, you know, this was not, this was, this was not going to be the type of place we could, like, stay another night. I'm going to just put on some mascara. I'm going to be putting on lashes. But um, this is the Beauty Benefit, Beauty, Be Beauty Essentials Mascara. It's all kind of worn off. Nothing special. It's from the Dollar Tree, so, you know, it's not going to be the best. But I'm just going to give it a try. I may get rid of it today. I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit just to give my lashes a little something to stick to. So of course, you know, we had a beautiful room, a nice balcony, very spacious room, a nice bathroom to hug the toilet in and all that fun, awesome stuff. Um, but um, yeah, the next day we were leaving and I was just praying that I was not going to be this sick leaving, like going home. <laughs> I would just, I did not know. I like, my husband was like, just don't even worry about, don't even worry about it right now. You, you can't worry about it. Needless to say, by the time I went to bed that night, we went to bed at 10.30. My husband went to dinner, ate sushi for the first time without me. <laughs> but uh, no, I wanted him to have fun. I like did not want anyone to be miserable on account of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to use my Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue and Liner. And I'm going to be using the LA Colors Jewel Eyes Lashes. These are in Brilliant. I think I've worn these once before. Either that or they're brand new. I can't really tell. I think they're brand new. So by the time we'd gone to bed at 10.30, or really by about 10 o'clock, by the time my husband came back up from dinner, I was feeling better. It had been hours since I had gotten sick. I was able to lay on my stomach, which was something I was not able to do. And I was just starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. So I had faith that I was gonna be okay the next day. So a couple hours later, during the night I woke up and I realized I felt better. And I was just, it was just like a thank God situation. I woke my husband up, it was like probably 3 a.m. We had to be up at six because we literally had to leave there by 6.30, which was just way too early. <laughs> and, um, but even at that, I slept so much better than that, that night than I did the night before, so. But I woke my husband up at like three in the morning and I said, oh, I said, I feel 100% better. I just, oh my God, I was so grateful. So 
Now, of course, you know, it does take your body a couple days to kind of like recuperate from something like that, but I felt so much better. No more, really no more nausea. My fever was gone. Um, and I was a little dehydrated and you know, that kind of stuff, but I felt so much better. So anyway, so we leave and we go, you know, meet the shuttle and meet our friends and go to the airport there in Cancun. All is well. It's just really early, but all is well. So we had a layover in Orlando, in the Orlando International Airport. Well, we've all like done the resort thing, like in a foreign country before, but we've only like, we've only all ever like done it once. It had been like a year, or several months since the last time any of us had done it. Um, so, you know, we're not the most well-traveled and the owners of our theater, where they've done it a lot, they weren't with us. Their flight was later in the day. They had booked their flight separate from us. So, you know, we, we were just doing the best we can. You know, we I've flown a lot here in the last year or so and, you know, I've done some traveling. So my husband it had been a while since he had traveled. Now, mind you, they flew us out of an airport that's about three hours away from my house versus the one that's closer to my house. So there's that. So we stayed with a friend, like on our way to Mexico, we, we spent, and we had to, cause we had to be on the flight early the next day. So we just, we drove to a friend's house and she drove us to the airport cause she would buy the airport we were flying out of. Those just went on so nice. So psyched, love a lash glue liner. So, you know, we go through all the security stuff at the, the Mexican airport, in, you know, in Cancun. I thought it was very easy. I didn't think anything of it. We get to Orlando, the Orlando airport. Well, we, you know, you, you go through customs, you kind of, it's like a cattle call. They're just kind of moving you quick. We came upon a food court. We had like an hour and a half until our flight. We had plenty of time. So we saw a food court. And so we stopped to eat because we were, you know, starving. And um, and so we now had 30 minutes to get to our gate. No problem, right? Like we should get there in 30 minutes. No problem. We did not realize you had to go through TSA. Like we, we thought, I thought, and we all have a different theory. A couple of the people think we got out of the secure area somehow. My theory is that because we're coming in from Mexico, we had not gone through the U, like USA TSA, um, so and it, you know when you go to an airport, normally when you have a layover, you know where there's food and stuff, it's normally a secure area. Like we would have just like waited, but like we just had no idea. None of us had any idea. Needless to say, we were two couples and one girl that was with us. Okay, I'm going to be going in. I'm going to be using my Believe Beauty Skin Finish Tinted Moisturizer today. This is a natural. I haven't used this in a while. I also have concealer. I'm going to try to do this light coverage thing today. And I'm just going to use my fingers. That's kind of how I feel like you should apply a tinted moisturizer. So um, you have to go through, you know, TSA. And since you're coming from, you know, out of the country, they're just a little bit strict. So they have like dogs and stuff. You had to go with a partner through where, the, where you walk by the dogs. If, if you've been through that, you know what I mean. If not, I'm probably explaining it really poorly. Well, there were two of us were couples, me and my husband, then two of our friends. Well, my friend Rachel, her husband had to, he actually got on another flight in Cancun because he had a gig. He's a, a piano player. So she was now on her own. So they had to pair her off with some, another single person. So we, needless to say, the four of us and her got separated. So we get to the end, we get to where we're done and we all thought that she was behind us. So we just kind of continued on. We had to then get like on a, sh a monorail kind, kind of a thing. And um, I'm gonna use a blender sponge near my hairline. And so we were just we were just hoping that she wouldn't be far behind us and we're cutting it really, really close. And of course, my biggest fear in that moment was that we, she would get left at the airport without us, you know? Well, what actually happened is she somehow ended up before us. Now, mind you, I was starting, I, had, I felt better, but I was starting to get a little woozy because I, I think I started getting nervous and the Orlando airport, I mean, y'all, it was February. I was sweating. That airport was miserable, in my opinion. I, it was miserable. But um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I was sweating, so I was starting to feel nauseous. I was starting to feel, I was just starting to, I was just, I was starting, I guess, to panic a little bit. I just, I don't know. I was, I was all of a sudden not doing well. So we all kind of had to go to the bathroom before we got on the plane, and we were right there. She must have snuck by us at, at some point there. I don't know. Um, anyway, she got on the plane, and we didn't. So that was good because at least she was not by herself stuck and her vehicle was actually at the airport. Um, everyone had drove in it, like me and my husband drove in on our own, but all of them like carpooled together. So it was her car that was at the airport. So even though it sucked that we weren't together, she was able to get home, have her vehicle, all that good stuff. 
but the rest of us got stuck in Orlando. <laughs> so um, now I'm gonna use some concealer. So I'm just gonna go back into that e.l.f. Uh, concealer. So of course we were on Spirit Airlines and they were literally like, we literally don't have another Spirit Air Airlines flight leaving until like next Thursday, which was, I mean, come next Thursday. This was a, this was a week prior. They were like literally like, oh, we can get you on a flight next week. Like, no, uh-uh. So um, my, my stepdaughter, my husband's daughter happens to live in Orlando. And actually our plan was actually to not burden her with staying with her. We were actually gonna rent a car and just like drive home. Cause it's only like a, like a 10 hour drive from Orlando to where we live. And we, you know, um, that kind of thing. So, but apparently you really can't rent a car to drive across state lines and drop it off like at another, like from enterprise to enterprise or whatever. Apparently you can't do that. Um, anyways, so we just, we decided to stay with her for the night. We booked an Allegiant flight for the next evening out of Sanford, Orlando. So a much smaller airport, a whole lot better. And then our friends, they ended up booking an Allegiant flight that evening and got home. So we, you know, we separated and uh, my husband took his first Uber. So we, we Ubered from the airport to, um, cause it's like, it was like a, you know, a 30 minute drive. We didn't want to burden his daughter too much who was working and just living her life. And we were just like, Hey, we're stuck here. Surprise. And so, um, we Uber, we just, you know, we spent the evening while she was working, just kind of, you know, we just made the most of it. We just became tourists for an extra day in Florida and uh, spent the night with her. And so then our flight was the next evening, like pretty late, like we had to get to the airport. Like I think it was leaving at like 10 p.m. the next night. So like I said, we just made the most of it, all that good stuff. I was just grateful to feel better and all that kind of thing. And this bronzer here that I'm using, because I did not mention it, is the LA Colors Working Gal bronzer. I've had this for a while, just a really nice little matte bronzer. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in like forever, like seriously. I don't even, I guess the last time I filmed. <laughs> so, you know, we, we, our flight was a little delayed. So we didn't end up getting to like Nashville until like after midnight. Our friend that drove us to the airport came and picked us up. She was supposed to pick it up, pick us up at three in the afternoon, the day before she ended up picking us up after midnight, the next night, just one of our best friends in the world. And, uh, we were going to stay at her house the night and then drive like the three and a half hours home the next day. Um, my husband had to be in work the next day. He actually had to be in work that night, but he had to call in because obviously we were, we were stuck. <laughs> and, um, but we just decided to get home that night. So we did not get home. It was the right decision though. Cause like the next morning I couldn't imagine having to get up and drive again. It was like planes, trains, and automobiles. You ever see that movie, Steve Martin and John Candy? Oh my God. Yeah. It just felt like it, it literally took us like 48 hours to actually get home. Um, but, um, but we got home at like 5:30 in the morning and between the, f the last night in the resort where I felt better, the night at my stepdaughter's house where I was literally falling asleep at like 8.30, that is so not me. This is the hard candy box in a box bronze uh, blush. It's the marbleized baked brush. This is in the shade girl next door. So it's just like a little shimmery bronzer, really pretty, really cute. I've got a little bit of pressed powder that I'm gonna put a little bit on because I forgot because I'm talking away a storm. A lot to catch you guys up on, you know. I'm just gonna kind of put some like under my eyes, around my nose. This is from e.l.f. as well, from the Dollar Tree. It's all from the Dollar Tree. This is an e.l.f. powder in light beige. So we got home, you know, 5.30. But yeah, like I said, the, the last night in the resort, the night at my daughter, uh, stepdaughter's house, and that first night at home, and the next night, four nights in a row, I don't think I have ever slept so good without like taking a Benadryl or something like that. It was worth it. All of it was like worth it for the kind of sleep that I got that like four days. Oh my goodness. So now we got home, we could relax. I didn't have to put a show together. Didn't have to worry about going anywhere. So then I just, so ever since then, I've just been kind of enjoying the off season, not traveling. Traveling's fun, but I'd done a lot of it in the last two months, you know? So for my highlighter, I'm gonna go into this palette that like, I never use. I have two of these. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow Highlighting Palette, and this is in Struck by Light. So it's got like three powder highlighters, one here I had to repress, and then it's got like cream highlighters. I think I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna use a stippling brush. 
so yeah, and then I started um, rehearsals because, of course, I'm going back to work here soon. Our shows open up in a couple of weeks. We started rehearsals a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to be in two shows full time. And then, of course, I'm going to fill in for a third show, um, just be like a swing performer. But um, so, yeah, we open up one of our shows like in a couple of weeks, and then we open up a second show like a couple of weeks after that. My friend, who I, I she works in a Motown show at the same theater, so I fill in for her. So she's just getting started back tonight, along with the magic show that I used to work for. They're all starting today. So when my friend needs me, I'll fill in for her, like I did last year. Of course, I'm brunette this year, so I've got a whole bunch of new wigs and hair pieces. And um, yeah, haven't really gotten to see myself like made up a whole lot, other than like looking like Selena. Um, now we're going to go back into the eyes and I'm going to go in with some like pencil liner and I've had this for a little while again. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Kajal Supreme Eyeliner Duo. One side is a marker and one side is like a, like a thick pencil liner. The, the liquid side is done. I've used that up. It's dried up. But then I have this other side here and it's really a very, very nice liner. So I'm just going to kind of go into my waterline with this. So yeah, our shows are changing up just a little bit. Not so much the Motown show, but our other two shows are changing up a bit. So I'm singing some different stuff this year and um, different things like that. So that will be fun. I'm still going to be doing my show in Vegas. We're going to change it up a little bit just because, you know, it take, when you do something, you, you know, it's, it's a sometimes there's a trial and error. Pro, well, almost always there's a trial and error process, you know. Um, but I'm still, at some point, going to be going back to Las Vegas to do my show there. And there's just lots of opportunities in the works. And, of course, that's one of them. So I'll definitely keep you, like, in the loop about that and let you know. Um, it's just been, I haven't really posted in the last few days because it's just been a little crazy with rehearsals and stuff like that. But So now I'm going to go onto the inner corner with this before it dries up. The Wet n' Wild. Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is the Shimmer Liquid Liner, and this is in, uh, what is it, Fairy Tale Ending. I thought it would look really pretty. I had another shade dried up recently. These, you know, they don't last forever, you know. I'm actually wetting it with some setting spray, so I think this might actually be done. <laughs> that's okay. That's why I'm using things that I have not used in a little while, because, you know, you just got to kind of see what is still good and what's not good after a little while, you know what I mean? And um, I actually reorganized all my makeup. I'm kind of like reorganizing my beauty room here. Now granted, this room does not look the way I ultimately want it to look like. Ultimately, I would like it to be like a big giant closet, but that's gonna probably be a little, <laughs> little while. That's not quite doing exactly what I want it to do, but that is okay. It's it's doing something and you know, that's enough for me. So yeah, I've just been kind of, I've got some, um, a couple like really good sized Dollar Tree hauls that I'm gonna, be filming after this. I have been stopping by the Dollar Tree and they've had some really great stuff lately. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm overall very, very, very happy with this look. Yeah, I think this here might be done. So <laughs> so if you saw my last um, testing new Dollar Tree makeup, I used these. These are from Be Pure. My hands are a mess. Let me get some baby wipes. I had two of these. Um, these are from Be Pure, the Shimmer. I thought they were liquid eyeshadows. They do have liquid eyeshadows I'll be using in a future video. But these were lip glosses and I used them as eyeshadows. But I'm gonna use them as a lip gloss today. I'm gonna use this one here and uh, just kind of see. That's pretty, it's a little light for me. Let me go get the other one. The other one's like a darker shade of pink. And I had a Dollar Diva, because I had like trouble getting my eyelashes to stick that day. And I didn't really know why. I thought it was maybe the eyelashes. I think it was because I had lip gloss on my eyelid. She was like, do you think you reckon it's because you have lip gloss on your eyelid? I was like, probably. <laughs> Let's try this color right here. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. Super pretty, not sticky. Doesn't really feel like it'll last a long time, but, but nice. Definitely not bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. I'm tr just trying to update you on kind of what's been going on in a nutshell. 
And yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed hearing me drone on and on and on while putting on some Dollar Tree makeup that I've been neglecting for the last little bit. I'll have some relevant content up here. That way you can binge watch more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, of course, hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.